and science. In this video, let's find the LCM and GCF of 5, 15, and 20. And I like to use a factor tree. First, a factor 5, that doesn't take long because it is prime. For 15, I will go 5 times 3, circle both of these because they are prime, so we're down to prime numbers. And a factor tree for 20, 2 times 10, circle the 2 because it is prime, 2 times 5, circle both of these because they are prime. Now I'm going to create a prime chart. Okay, so here's your chart. And for 5, I just write 5. For 15, I'm going to write the 5 and a 3. And then for 20, I will write the 5. I'm going to put a check by it, a 5. I'm going to skip the 3 because I don't have a 3. And then a 2 and a 2. So I've just taken this and placed it into a chart. Now, for the um, least common multiple, LCM, you basically just multiply these numbers together, except you have this exception. If you have pairs or triplets of the same number, just use it once. So I have three fives, so I'm going to use a five. I only have one three, so I'll use a three. And then I'll use the twos. So when you multiply all this together, you have five times five is 15, times two is 30, times two is 60. So the LCM equals 60. Now let's work on finding the GCF. Now for the GCF, I've rewritten the chart that I got from the factor trees. And I have a 5. And anyway, the factors were 5, 15, and 20. Now for the GCF, you have this rule. Since you have three numbers, 5, 15, and 20, you need to, you will only use triplets. And so the only triplet I have is 5. I don't have a triplet of the 3. I don't have a triplet of the 2 or the other 2. So the GCF equals, whoop, not 15, 5. Okay? I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.